I just got back from the uh, Scrapbook Expo in Kansas City, Missouri. I live about an hour east of Kansas City, so it wasn't too far away for me. It was shopping there. Uh, the first day was mostly all shopping. I volunteered in one workshop, and I had a lot of fun there. And then the second day, <clears throat> my intentions were to volunteer and work all day, including the crop late at night. <sighs> but I managed to spend more money on the second day. Um, so I definitely have a lot of things to show off here. And also, we were recently in um, Sandusky, Ohio, for um, dance competition reasons and <clears throat> there is a local scrapbook store there in Sandusky, Ohio so we did stop by and I have included those items here. As I go through these I'm going to try really hard to um, try to explain where I got them, if I remember what I paid for them, um, I will include that and kind of what inspired me to get them and why. All right, so let's get started, shall we? So um, <clears throat> I really wanted to get a lot of embellishments. That was the sole reason or uh, my main thing that I was looking for. <clears throat> this is by Amy Tangerine. Um, some embellishments and stickers. Um, sometimes it'll say what, um, what uh, collection it's from, but I am a member of the Hip Kit Club, and this reminded me of some items that were in the Hip Kit. So that's why I bought this to kind of go with those items that we already had. And there are quite a few pages of stickers in here that are going to be a lot of fun to scrapbook with. All right, <clears throat> that's by Amy Tangerine. Looks like I paid $7.25. Probably got this at the Nicole Peterson uh, booth. And I probably, I, mm, besides heartfelt creations, I spent more, the most money at Nicole Peterson and then more at heartfelt creations. So this is the Oasis collection um, by Crate Paper. And these items have been in the Hip Kit Club as well. I've seen some of the YouTubers on Facebook working a lot with this collection. So I definitely recognize the name of it. Um, and of course these embellishments as well as I was going through um, and I got that at <clears throat> Nicole Peterson's um, booth. Moving on, um, this is um, Summer Fun, Echo Park, layered stickers. These are, um, have some dimension to them. Um, then I got what else did I get? I try, when I scrapbook shop, I try really hard to buy pieces of the collections. Um, and of course I had our road trip to Ohio on my mind. So I saw this and I also have the paper in here somewhere to match, but this is by Echo Park, Go See, Explore, um, by Lori Woodcock. <clears throat> here is another one. I love ephemera. I'm big on the ephemera Echo Park Summer Fun. Um, this is back here. Go through. And pineapples and flamingos <laughs> definitely seem to be the rage. Like as I'm looking through this, that right there, that flower piece. Wait, let's let it zoom in. Like some of these, oh, I have that paper. I recognize that paper from Hip Kit. So sometimes when we get pieces from the Hip Kit, I don't really pay attention to what um, enough to what uh, collection they're from. But as I see them, I'm like, oh yeah, I've gotten something from that before. That looks familiar, and I've gotten pieces of that before. So again, <clears throat> and that goes that will go with these together. Come on, focus. There we go. That'll go nice together. That's, again, um, Summer Fun by Echo Park. And I was not able to find the paper for that. That was one thing I really wish on Nicole Peterson's um, booth that she would have had entire collections. This is another um, piece. I know I have papers from this collection. This is Amy Tangerine. And I don't believe I see her the name of the uh, the name of the kit or the um, collection, but I recognize, you know, the cassette tape. I recognize the P.S. I Love You. I've seen that before. I recognize <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, some of those other pieces look very familiar. I know I've received some pieces through that through the hip kit before. Or maybe I bought, no, I bought some of this at Joann's. That's right, I bought the paper to this at Joann's. I have this. What's next? More Echo Park Summer Dreams. This is a six inch paper pad. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to flip through it. Maybe, Ooh, not so much. But <clears throat> that looks like a lot of fun. Very colorful, bright, summery. Um, <clears throat> put that aside. What else, what else, what else, what else? Here is more ephemera. Um, more ephemera, more pastel-y watercolor-like. This is by Jubilee. My Mind's Eye. Um, can't really see too much of that. Here, there we go. Lots of ephemera. Yay, yay. Okay, what else? <clears throat> this is a booth called Want to Scrap. They had a lot of um, laser cuts. My daughter's in show choir and palms, and she does a lot of dance, a lot of dance competitions. So um, I got that. That was three twenty-five, and the name of the booth or the company is called um, Want to Scrap. Um, that's a twelve-inch. What else? What else? What else? So a couple more things more I want to scrap. My daughter Tori will be a junior this year. She has not been to prom yet, but I am anticipating those days are quickly ahead of me. Loved this, thought it was pretty. I'm typically not one to buy pre-cut um, things. I have a Cricut, I love the Cricut, but some of these, if I know that I can't get it on the Cricut, then I, and I like it, I will purchase it. I'll know a Cricut cut when I see it. This is another one. I think this is by Do Dilly Designs. Um, they had a lot of laser cuts, and they had this in a variety of sizes. I really liked this. Um, so, thought that was nice. Back to more puffy stickers and enamel, uh, enamel dots and things like that. Um, this is Back to That Summer Dreams um, by Echo Park. And that will definitely, of course, match that. I really feel like, you know, these pieces, I, I'm not a, you know, a, a collection snob where I'm not going to mix some, um, <laughs> I will definitely not have a problem mixing some of those together. Who is this one by? More ephemera. Good. There we are. Um, Kaiser Crafts. Not really sure. Daydreamer. Okay. What else is in here? Holy moly. I don't think I need to show anything from that. Okay. Put that aside. Okay, so we did stop in Indiana on our way through to Ohio, and we stopped at the um, Children's Museum, which if you're ever in Indianapolis, holy moly, definitely worth the stop. But do plan on spending more than half the day there. It's, it's a quite an interesting, um, definitely a lot to do there. So thought I'd grab that for Indiana. Um, of course we were in uh, Ohio, as I mentioned, we went to San, um, Cedar Point and you all can probably re uh, recognize what I intend to do with these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, let's see. This one is by Cardabella, Soak Up the Sun. I just really liked some of these. This is, looks like a Pocket Life type um, card, cut up card, but um, it caught my eye. Really feel like I can mix and blend with some of the other things I've bought. In. So um, we went on the ferry there in Ohio. So I really feel like there's some things here that we can use and I'm not too crazy about that but love the cut up what else what else what else what's this one by studio calico just some cork board stickers embellishments nothing crazy um when i was at the scrapbook expo i can't remember the um 
Oh, the eyelet outlet. That's where I was. I'm not big on eyelets. Not big on. I have a few brads. I use them, but I don't purchase them anymore. But this was really inexpensive, and I it has these flowers. There's three sizes or four three sizes in this, and I bought a lot of colors here in these. So there's black and there's blue. There's more in here. Um, I also bought a bunch of these. I am starting to take on making my own little tiny circle embellishments, and I plan on cutting these up and using these individually. So there's more of that. And more. There's purple in there. So I bought a lot. Those are like 99 cents. Definitely worth it. These, this is by Simple Stories, Bloom and Grow. Um, these brads caught my eye. I said I don't buy brads. I'll buy them like this, but not just plain simple little ones. Uh, enamel dots. Never have enough of those. Um, this Carp DM is a new line, I think. Um, I, I saw it everywhere. Who's it by? I can't remember. Anyway, I saw that Carp DM everywhere and I think it's a planner line I'm not big on planners and doing all that it's just one more thing that I can't take on but um, some of you probably know what that is bow bunny love bow bunny and I just really liked these thought they turned out not they were look nice and I think I can use those in some of my layouts and enamel dots Memo dots, more of those flowers, more of those flowers. There we go. Uh, this one, these are um, mirror like gold, my mind's eye. It says acrylic, yeah. More flowers. Holy moly, more enamel dots. And more flowers. <laughs> okay. This was an impulse buy while I was standing in line, but I thought it was a good buy. I think they had um, 10 of these for $10 or something. But these um, real intricate border shapes and, and um, trims. Um, I love black and gold and silver. Uh, sorry about the glare. There we go. Lots of these. I just, I just bought, I just grabbed, grabbed and grabbed. Now that's tiny. That is tiny. That'll be fun. More. More. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Okay, what else? This one I've already opened. I think it's by 10 Holtz. It's uh, dyes, leaves. Um, apologize, I already opened that up. Oh, sorry, I said Sizzix. It says Sizzix, but I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a Tim Holtz. Um, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's the first box. What else is in here? Just some individual paper that I got. Let's see. This says Neon Lights, October Afternoon. And... Mm, yeah. Okie dokie. Love this. This is October Afternoon Candy Apple. And I think about two of those. Oh, looky here. Midway Madness Carnival Moxie. Anyone familiar with this? It's not a line I've heard of before. And, oh, that's a really pr pretty blue. I really like that distressed kind of pattern, tone on tone. Uh, not too crazy about this, but we went to the when we went to the children's museum. There was this really cute section. It was all circus, and we took some really cute pictures of the kids in that section. And I'm pretty sure I had those pictures in my mind when I purchased that. This is probably a, this is another piece to go in that same line and another pattern there. Ooh, I like this one. Um, she had these for 88 cents. I think that's a really good buy. 
These will make fun, fun layouts. There's Moxie. Clowning around. That's a yellow. Might look a little green in the camera. Uh, and <coughs> I'm not one to buy Graphic 45, but I see I know graphic 45 when I see it I love it I've never bought it before it's so expensive um, but we um, took the ferry boat over um, over to where were we an island put in bay if you're familiar with that anyway so I thought this might be really pretty and I'm gonna you know I'll, I'll go to the beach someday I'll, I'll get use out of it it'll be good I go to the beach that type thing occasionally um golly what else oh okay so here is what i bought in ohio i purchased a ton of the bow bunnies sweet moments line and um this is all individual papers and it's kind of like a candy thing. Um, I can see me using this for like Nutcracker, Sugar Plum Fairy, Land of Sweets. I think that would be really pretty. Um, so I'm just going to put through these. Whenever I buy a line, I um, try to usually buy two of each because of the front and back is so pretty. And then oh, I can't make decisions. Um, so then I just buy two of each so I don't have to fret about it. <laughs> Cute. Oh my gosh. This could also make a really nice flip album. Flip book of some mini journal, mini scrapbook, mini book journal. So goodness. And she she had a really decent price on these papers. I don't think they were a dollar, so I think that's a fair price that she had. If you're ever in that area, that store was packed. It was a little unorganized, but it's also, I should say, that I was in a store I'd never been in before, so you need to take time to orient yourself. Um, then I got this pack to match. She had six twenty five on this. Love that. I have so much fun with that. Oh. It's gonna be so pretty. Um, what else? I also got more sticker. These are uh, chipboards. Chip chipboard stickers. I'm gonna find something to do with this board stickers my daughter's upstairs on the phone if you can hear her I'm sorry <laughs> I've been yakking for 18 minutes so I should probably stop and come back but I'm not even close to done I haven't started on the second day so hope you've enjoyed some of my haul and I will be back to do the second half